Hello everybody and welcome to uh, the second si uh, page of our assignment. Um, we're just going to do some simple measurements here and a little bit of practice using measurements. Uh, for one and two we're just find the length of each line segment or object. For number one, segment EF. Well, we know it's over one inch. The question is how many sixteenths? We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like one and eleven sixteenths inches. Okay, on the second one, we're measuring the strip of stars in centimeters. Definitely four centimeters. It looks like it goes out two notches. That is four point two centimeters. Okay, we're going to skip three, four, and five because we're not going to deal with precision. Um, <coughs> here we're just finding the measurement of each segment. P.S. If we add the 18.4 and 4.7, uh, we're going to get 23.1, and that's centimeters. 2 and 3 eighths inches plus 1 and 1 fourth inches. Add the fractions 3 and 5 eighths inches. We're trying to find WX. That's this segment right here. We have to do a little subtraction. 100 minus 89.6 centimeters is 10.4 centimeters. Okay, a little bit of work to do on 9 and 10. Find the value of each variable. That's one thing. And also find KL. So we're asked to do two things if K is between J and L. Okay, so I'm going to draw a little segment of this situation here. Uh, K is between J and L. Say here's J, here's L. Okay, and they say JK is 6R. So I'm going to label that. I'm going to say KL is 3R. And then they go on to say that the whole thing, JL, is 27. From edge to edge, JL is 27. All right, so here we are. We have to add together in order to solve for R. The 6R plus the 3R will add up to 27. Solving a simple equation, 6R and 3R make 9R. Divide by 9, R is 3. So we've done the first task. We found a variable. We still have to find the KL segment. KL is simply put the 3 in for the R here. 3 times 3 is 9. And that tells us the KL. Similar on number 10, we got JL again. Let's label those. Here's K. Okay, JK is 2S, uh, KL is S plus 2, and then the whole thing, edge to edge, is 5S minus 10. Let's see if I can squeeze that in here. So that's going to help us set up our equation. 5S minus 10 is equal to 2S plus S plus 2. All right, we're going to just solve this for s. We have 5s minus 10 equals 3s plus 2. I'm going to subtract 3s from both sides to get 2s. I'm going to add 10 to both sides to get 12. Turns out that s is 6. And that solves the first task, getting the variable. We need to find KL. KL, the formula, is simply S plus 2. Well, I know S is 6. Eight, 6 plus 2 is 8. All right. Uh, use the figures to determine whether each pair of segments is congruent. So we're comparing TU and SW. And the answer would be no, they are not congruent. We're comparing AD and BC. Now, we don't know what the measurements are, but these little notches here are signifying, yes, they are congruent. And then finally, we have GF and FE. Notice the notches here saying no, not congruent. And that's all.